quick tutorial on gated sweep for the R3273 spectrum analyzer. So we've got a Wi-Fi signal mixed up to 20 gigahertz because why not? And the problem here is that the, the sweep is 20 milliseconds and the Wi-Fi signal is, is turning off on like one millisecond intervals. And so it comes and goes and comes and goes as, uh, as the sweep is being taken. And so you get a choppy mess as the spectrum. So let's clean that up. First, uh, actually, let's let's span down to the, the 20 megahertz here. Yeah. Now let's um, go into sweep and gated sweep. Now we have our, our versus, uh, versus frequency and versus time. And in our versus time, let's see, we probably want to adjust the sweep to uh, uh, a little bit more because we know that those packets are taking uh, 500 microseconds or, or something thereabouts. Uh, now we want to get the time series stable. So we trigger that like an oscilloscope. So right now trigger is set to free run. We don't want that. Let's trigger on IF. And 50, yep, I it guessed correctly, 50% works. We have to decrease that if your signal amplitude is a little bit lower. Uh, slope plus, I think that's uh, that's all set up. Cool. So now let's go into the gated sweep details. We, we want to use IF as the trigger. We want to define where the gate is. Let's scoot the gate away from the origin a little bit because it's it, the signal might still be ramping there on the left. And uh, let's give it a little bit of width and let's turn gated sweep on. So if you give it too little width, the sweep will take forever because it has to still build that 20, sec 20 milliseconds. And if it has to do it out of teeny tiny windows, it's going to take forever to assemble enough windows to get a sweep. But uh, so you want, you want the window as wide as possible while still staying within the part of the signal you're interested in. So now we can play with the, uh, the location of the window though. Let's um, scoot it over here. Yeah, and you can see when we go into the data, part of the signal. You can see it, it squares up a little bit. Cool. Now if we go into the period between signals, indeed that has a, a flat spectrum. And it would have carrier leak through if this wasn't up at 20 gigahertz. Uh, but it is and the noise blur of the instrument at 20 gigahertz is such that uh, it can't see the minuscule amount of carrier leak through from the signal generators. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye.